Now that you're all done with installing Xcode, setting it up and agreeing to all of the license agreements, we're now ready to create our first Flutter app and test it on the iOS simulator. Now, when you install Xcode, another application gets installed by default, and that is the iOS simulator. So you can search for it in Spotlight and you can simply launch it by clicking on it. Now, by default, when the simulator first launches, it'll take a while to set itself up. It's almost like you're switching on your phone for the first time. If the simulator that shows up on your screen is way too large because it's trying to display all the pixels. So if you want to make it a little bit smaller, you can simply just hover towards the edge until you see a little toggle and you can make it as small or as large as you want. Now, it's quite hard to reposition the simulator, I find, but you have to sort of click somewhere around the edge or the most surefire way is actually clicking on this label where it says iPhone XR that usually allows you to move it around and you can resize it as necessary. So now that our simulator has launched, we are ready to try and test it by running a brand new Flutter app onto it. So you should still have your testing app lying around somewhere. If it's not open in Android Studio, simply go to file and open recent or simply go to open and locate the folder that contains the project and hit open. So once you're here, in order to run it onto the iOS simulator, all that we have to do is change the device. So right here at the moment, I've got my Android emulator selected. And if I click on the drop down list, you can see that I've got my simulator in here as well. So let's select that instead. And now if I click run, I will be able to run my app simultaneously on the Android emulator as well as the iOS simulator. And you can again watch all the steps that it's going through to be able to do this. I find it pretty magical how Flutter is doing all of this behind the scenes for you. But you do have to wait a little while. And once it's done, the next time when we run it or when we test it, it'll be so much faster. So now that it's complete, I've now got my app installed both on the Android emulator and the simulator, and they both work just perfectly. So you can see that at the moment I've got two apps running because there's a, a two right there. And if you want to stop it, when you click on the stop sign, you can see that there's all of these processes and you can click on stop all to stop all of our apps from running. So that's all it is. You've successfully set up everything to finally be able to create Flutter apps and run it on iOS and Android. Give yourself a pat on the back because that was a long setup process, but you are now ready to get started and build your very first Flutter app. So once you're ready, head over to the next module and we'll get started.